Uh, welcome to the uh, first of many updates on the railway precinct project. So uh, we've decided to do these via video rather than the uh, usual print media, um, with the idea being that we can get a little bit more interaction from the public. So as you can see behind me, we've uh, well and truly commenced works in uh, Cusack Street. So that's the removal of the drainage and the Kerbin Channel um, and installation of new drainage on that side of the street. And over the coming couple of weeks, you'll see the contractor move to the opposite side of the street. Uh, there's also some water main works that need to happen as part of the North East Water Works um, and you'll see them moving down the street progressively. This stage of the project should take about three months. Um, that will link up the rest of the project so then we'll move into Norton Street and then on to Docker Street. The ultimate aim of the project from here is to really activate the open spaces um, within the area and allow better connectivity for both pedestrians and, and cyclists moving forward. Okay, so we also thought that we could uh, answer some questions via this medium as well. So um, if you've got any questions, then uh, put them down in the comments page and we'll try to each week answer as many as we can. Um, this week we've picked some questions off the uh, Facebook page uh, of The Chronicle. So first question up on there was around uh, if the project was over budget or not. So the project's not over budget. The original project was Norton and Docker Street alone, which had a budget of $5 million, and those works have come in at about 4.9. Um, the second stage of the works is Cusack Street, and that's a standalone stage of work. So, although the total value of the project is over $6 million, the actual part of the works that was originally scoped is still under budget. Some other questions there around whether Council can fix the trains. Unfortunately, we don't control the trains, so no, we can't uh, add any services or get them to turn up on time or turn them not into buses. Um, understand everyone's frustration there, that's just not something that we can control. Uh, and final question around bus stops. So yes, there is additional bus stops going in. Um, they'll be indented and also um, on-street bus stops and uh, all of those will be fully DDA compliant with bus shelters as well. So hopefully that answers a few questions.